The man to watch. Well, he's a good all-round player. When he's closing the ball down, he does it at pace. When he's linking up the play, he's good at that. But his real attribute and his threat is when he runs in behind defenders. That's when he's at his most dangerous. Find out how it unfolds right here on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Aston Villa up against Manchester United. Thanks Derek as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Esri Konza starts with Luca Dina in the fullback positions. Douglas Luiz plays alongside Bubakar Kamara in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Well, they're playing with two up front, but they have different roles. The main striker has to use his pace to run behind the defence. The second striker is trying to find pockets of space to receive the ball and get himself turned. It's a good combination, I think. And there the move ends for now. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think... And he might be through here. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. Well, what delight for Unai Emery. That's just what he was hoping for. Bruno Fernandes has it. Aston Villa regaining possession. Well, a really good run. And options in the centre. Determined defending. My goodness, it looked as though he was clean through. And the referee, what will he do here? And I think that's one we could have called from five miles away, Stuart. Clear red card offence. Well, you've obviously got very good eyesight, but no doubt about that. He stopped a goal-scoring opportunity there. He had to go. I had my eyes tested last week, I'll have you know. Konsa. Timely intervention. Torres. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. And that is going to be a free kick. Consa. Well, possibilities in the centre. Safe pair of hands did his job. He's in with a chance. And a goal! The equaliser! They simply refuse to be beaten. Down to ten men, but right back in this game. Bailey. Oh, 
Tani open them up here. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And there's the delivery. And the first half is in the history books now, here at Villa Park. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Now, this could be productive. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, a fierce effort, but quite simply not accurate enough. So, a personnel change then. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half as they've struggled at times today. And the press is on. Well, he's given it away. Diaby. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Oh, might be. And danger still. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. And they're making a change. Playing it in. Moussa Diaby. Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. And space to cross it. Diaby. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And short it is. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Read that pass all the way, cutting it out. That's a good-looking pass. They could nudge in front, and the keeper has possession of it. Bruno Fernandes has it. It's with Martinez. Mount. Hoylund. And intercepted it. Still pushing for a winner. Is this the moment? And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, but he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Anthony. 
Manchester United battling the clock and the scoreline. It's looking promising. Oh, surely. And the post denied him. Diaby. Tyrone Mings. Mings. Villa unable to retain possession. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And he's in. Oh, they've equalised! How about that? Despite the earlier red card, they're on level terms here. And so the referee brings the 90 minutes to an end, all even here. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, this is when you have to hold your nerve. And that, alas, went horribly wrong. And it wasn't the greatest penalty. And it's been saved by the keeper. Clinical, as always, in front of goal. Can he remain calm? And he's beaten the keeper. Well, dead centre with that penalty. Can he get the better of the keeper? So lethal in front of goal. He had to score, and he does. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. And it's gone in. Job done from the spot. Such high levels of pressure. He must score to keep his side in it. And straight down the middle. And he steps up to take his penalty. In it goes. Oh, couldn't find the net. And that is that. It's all over. Well, I can't believe he's missed. That really is a shocker. No wonder he looks so distraught. 